Hi, I'm Joseph. Welcome to my video edit instructions, How to Knit series. This is the How to Knit with Brother 260 Junkie Knitting Machine. I'm going to show you how to set up the 260 knitting machine in this video. First of all, find yourself a firm table, at least 130 to 140 centimeter long. We have the table right here. I've got the machine. That's the 260. You're gonna lift from this handle, but please make sure to keep your hand underneath the machine because they are fragile. And I have broken universities, a couple of universities' machines, so I've learned the hard way. And now, to set up, first you can see there are two catches at the top, these two metallic catches. We're first gonna put this horizontally, so let's do that. Now, we're going to open the catches nicely and gently. To take the cover off, uh, this cover is made by Brother so that we can carry the machine uh, anywhere. Uh, we're going to take the cover off very slowly and gently, uh, pulling it toward ourselves, and the cover is off. Now you can put this cover back off the machine safely you can just put it anywhere but I'm just gonna put it at the back if I can find the space here we go now the first thing we need to do is secure the machine and for that we need the, uh, the G clamps we're gonna find them right here in the accessory compartment and we can open this by just pushing this and taking this off and here you will find all the accessories that are in the book. Uh, and we're going to take the G clamps as we decided. And if I can zoom in to this G clamp, you can see you really don't need a special table uh, for knitting machine for this knitting machine as long as it is about this thick it can fit into basically any decent sized table as long as it is 120 to 140 centimeter long so now to secure this we're gonna put this sure it's locked. Oh, mine is on the side. Let's put it out a bit. Now it's locked, firm. Let's put the accessories back. Don't really need them right now. Right, now the next thing, this is the row counter. You can take this off and set it up on these two studs. Put them like this and push them back. There you go, and they click right in there. The next thing is to release the sinker plate and yarn tension unit. To do that, we'll just press on this metal and it'll come off. Take the sinker plate out, put it on the bed, and we take the yarn tension unit out. And it's out. Let's lock this by pushing it back. First, we're going to set up the yarn tension unit. Let's unwind it. push this up and then these wires 
until it clicks. There you go. It's slightly bent. It goes, there are two points where on 260, two points where we can put this rod. So you can put it here and it clicks and the yarn guide comes out. So this is set up. Now for the sinker plate, we can set that up as well. For that, first we take the carriage lock off. Just unscrew the knob, take the carriage lock off, put it up here. Make sure the knob doesn't come off. Now we're gonna put the sinker plate next to it and push it next to this guide, uh, protective guide, uh, guard, and lock it. Here we go. One more way, a much safer way to put the sinker plate on is if you're not sure whether your sinker plate has actually fitted onto the machine properly and that can cause needle bends. So I, what I normally do is Let's come back to the normal state. What I normally do is I take the carriage off by sliding to the left and then I grab the sinker plate, put them together like this and well I don't have many hands just two. Yeah. Uh, pushing it next to the carriage and then just making sure it locks and then you can see from the side and from the back that it is actually connected to the maximum point it's actually next to it. Now the next thing is these rubbers make sure they are outside the guard if they are over the guard then you haven't fitted it properly. Now to slide it back round metal. So we put that here and slowly but gently we move it to the right and as you can see if we zoom in here the rubbers are beneath the metal guard and the sinker plate is now fitted. And you can see it's running smoothly.